But you're here on business this time, very much so with Gerald Washington, yes. who's fighting Derek Chisora. Let's start there, of course. Um, we all know about Derek Chisora, we know what he brings, we know what he's been bringing for years and years. Yes. Is this when you got offered this fight? Was it surprising? Were you surprised that you would have this opportunity? Because it came as a surprise to many. Yeah. Um, yeah, it did come at, at a surprise, but the timing couldn't be no more better because if there's any Chisora that Gerald can have an easy time with, is this Chisora now. Um, if I'm wrong, Chisora will prove me otherwise tomorrow night. But I believe Gerald is going to be too elusive, too alert, too on point, too surgical for him tomorrow. But we'll see. What is it about Derek Chisora that makes him beatable now that maybe he wasn't? What, what, why is this version the beatable one? Because Father Tom is undefeated. And as far as war, that's all he's done his whole career. War, war, war. Derek have gotten hit with so many shots over time that it's impossible for him to still have the same intent and fresh body that he used to have. There's so many loopholes there, and it's our job tomorrow night to take advantage of all those loopholes. With Gerald Washington, what's the plan with him? Obviously, he's you know he's he's along in the tooth as well. He's had a long career, big wins like Robert Elenis, for instance. He's been there and done it. What's the plan for you two now? Like, what's the goal still with Gerald? The goal is tomorrow we handle business with Chisora, beat Chisora, and the next opponent I want for Gerald Washington is Andy Ruiz. Andrew Ruiz didn't want to fight my other fighter, Deontay Wilder. So now I have another heavyweight for him, Gerald Washington. And that's what I'm looking forward to. Gerald beating Chisora. Then the next fight, we're looking to fight Andrew Ruiz. In the main event, of course, Hellenius late standing, the latest standing possible. Um, now, there was a rumor that Gerald could have been on the, on the card against yes. Anthony, could have been bumped up. What was yes. the score there? Did you hear anything? Was it yes, possible? We got an offer. We got an offer early. The business wasn't right. Um, after the business wasn't right, we humbly declined. It was silence, and then Hellenius was the opponent. And we was fine with it. Um, in this business, when late replacements have to be, have to come in and save these shows, they should be paid extremely well, especially at this level. Um, the offer wasn't extremely well. Juro has a family, he has people that care about him, and I care about him. So I always want the best for not just Juro, for all my fighters. The offer wasn't good. It's okay, we still got Chisora. We're still on the show. We're still a part of big time heavyweight boxing, and we're extremely grateful. And tomorrow night, we're gonna take advantage of every loophole that Chisora has. What's the view on the main event, uh, Robert Hellenius, Anthony Joshua? Obviously, Hellenius beaten by your man, Deontay Wilder, in a round in he emphatic also fashion. by Gerald Washington. Both of my fighters knocked yeah. Hellenius out. You, you, know, you know the score with Hellenius. Do you see him giving Anthony Joshua any problems? Do you think he could win here, or is it just out of the question? It depends what AJ shows up. If AJ want to be an overthinker and just sit behind his left knee and not do nothing and overthink, and to me, Hellenius will carry him into later rounds and possibly have good moments against him. I don't want to get no, no, no one to get this Mr. Screw. What Deontay Wilder did to Hellenius is not an all the time thing. No one has ever iced him like that off the back foot. Yeah. If this is a measuring stick, in my opinion, it's not fair for AJ. AJ is a multiple combination puncher. Deontay is a knockout artist. He's the Picasso of knockouts. We're going to see what AJ do with Hellenius uh, tomorrow. Um, I wouldn't be surprised by anything that happened, though. Because Hellenius came to win in that fight against Deontay. He was on the front foot. He was walk, trying to walk him down, and that's why he ended up getting knocked out. Absolutely. Is that what you expect him to do against Joshua? Um, I expect him to be a bit smarter against Joshua because he learned off of fighting Deontay. You just can't go to these big guys in these high-level fights and just be throwing anything because you can get hurt and you can get ice. Alaney is an intelligent guy. He has a great coach. Um, I'm sure they're going to try to cross all the T's and dot all the I's to, mis to, to, to right those mistakes that they made. And in this fight, we're going to see. I know it's short notice, but he's just got to win the other night. I'm sure they've been training, but we're going to see tomorrow night from both sides. From Anthony Joshua's side, he has, to me, in my opinion, one of the best coaches in the world, Derek James, in his corner. And Hellenius had was one of the best coaches from his part of the pond. So it's a good matchup. It's a late replacement. I'm sure the fans would have wanted to see him and Dylan, but that didn't happen. So we got to be grateful for what we got. We have a great show tomorrow, and the heavyweight division lives on. When you got the news, when you saw the news about uh, Dylan White being out, what was your what was your immediate thoughts? Were you surprised? Joshua said he wasn't really surprised. Um, I, I was upset, and that's probably because I got a personal kind of relationship with Dylan over time. 
and I, you know, I want the best for him. And I want the best for him, meaning him being in big fights, earning good money, making history, things like that. So when Band-Aids like that happen, it's just bad for the game, it's bad for the division. Most of all, it's bad for Dylan. And um, I don't have too much comment on it because like I said, Dylan, I consider Dylan like a distant friend. And um, I want him to get past these, these, these times because they're tough times. But, you know, to be quite frank, and with all pun intended, he really fucked himself. Uh, just one on Deontay. We know that Skills Challenge guys, Amir, Amir Abdullah, I assume, is coming in. They're definitely going to be here to chat with Anthony if he does win about the Deontay Wilder fight and try and sign it. Um, Eddie Hearn believes on their side anyway, it's 100% going to happen if he beats Robert Hellenius. Is that how you feel? Um, I think I don't believe nothing in boxing is, is happening until it's over especially matchups, especially high quality fights. That's just the time we're in. There's always cancellation. These guys are doing steroids, management, promotion, the business aspect. When I see Deontay and Anthony Joshua both in Saudi Arabia after long camp of preparation, then I will believe we're going in the right motion. That's me. You know what I mean? Only That's until then. Only until then. Yes. How, um, how is Deontay feeling about it? And do you, Eddie said the problem here, or a fly in the ointment, is we don't know what he's doing. Is he going to fight between that then and now? You know, uh, is he yeah, going to have yeah, one? we're working on something right now for October. Really, yeah? Yes, absolutely. We're working on an opponent for October. If we're able to lock things down and get something done, you know, somebody going to sleep in October. If not, AJ will be going to sleep in January. It won't matter. Yeah. I don't see nothing. Does it not? I don't see nothing. Do you not think, obviously, he's had one round in a while, the one against Hellenius. Do you think he could go into a fight of that magnitude in Saudi against Joshua without anything else under his under the belt? I, I would like him to have a fight yeah. in between here. But if he doesn't get a fight, and once again, if these guys want to outbid themselves and outprice themselves to fight Deontay, ain't no fights going to happen. You know what I mean? I get why these guys are doing it, because the money, they have to protect themselves and provide for their families. But we're going to see. We're trying to lock something in for October. Let's just hope that goes through, and um, we'll go from there. That October fight, what sort of scale are we talking? Big, like, big, big, big fight pay-per-view, 12 rounder, or? Just a fight. It won't be nothing like Anthony Joshua level, yeah, yeah, but it will be something to keep us busy, keep Deontay under the lights, keep him sharp, and keep him having a fight before going into a big fight with Anthony Joshua. Ruiz, not, that's out of the question. No, Ruiz don't want to fight Deontay. I got Gerald Washington fighting Ruiz after D Gerald beat Chisora on, on set tomorrow. And tell us what happens in Saudi if, if and when they do finally meet Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder in January. If they fight in Saudi Arabia, if they fight in Los Angeles, if they fight in London, anywhere they fight, Deontay Wilder knocks Anthony Joshua out in three rounds. What makes you so confident? Between three to four rounds. Anthony Joshua take a lot of unnecessary chances at times. I'm sure Derek James is doing the maintenance to, to clean that up. He take chances early on with lower opposition than Deontay. If he take those same chances with us and put his chin over his front knee and overcommit, he's going to get hit with a missile like he's never been hit with before, and then it's going to be lights out. And then we'll be on to the next one, Fury Wilder 4. That's, a, that's, a, that's, the, that's the goal. Absolutely. Do you think Anthony Joshua's changed a lot over the years? You've seen the journey. It's been up and down very much so. Yeah. Do you think Deontay Wilder has a better chance against this version of Anthony Joshua than he would have done against 2017 Klitschko version? Not, 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 and, I mean, you could say that, but in my opinion, stylistically, doesn't matter. genetic makeup, length, head moving, speed, accuracy, these are the reasons why Deontay knocks Anthony Joshua out, in my opinion. Any level Anthony Josh. It could be this one, it could be the one that fought Vladimir. It could be, it doesn't matter. I believe it's a three, four round fight tops with Deontay winning about a very, very, very bad knockout. If, if Deontay hit Joshua with the right hand like Vladimir did, Joshua will not get up. All right, Malik, thanks for your time and best Thank of luck in the weekend. Brother.